Okay, it's been two days since you guys got to hear my beautiful voice. Looks like it's time to make a long lesson so you have more time to hear what I have to say. By the way, this will be the final video. I'm gonna cram all of the steps in here since I just don't have enough time to make another one before Christmas Eve. I'll be flying under the radar for a while, but don't worry. I'll be back in 2023 and we're gonna shoot for the moon next year. I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. So stay tuned for the next year and have fun with the video. Today we will take our little napkin sketches and we will refine them. If you're not comfortable drawing over your napkin sketch, you can also just make a new canvas or take a new sheet of paper and redraw it. Or maybe you just didn't save the file and have to redraw it anyway. If you're drawing traditional, you should take a new paper except you drew so lightly that it's really easy to erase. Otherwise, just take a new sheet of paper and use your napkin sketch as a reference piece. Now, for the refinement part, we can split that into multiple little chapters. The first one would be to bring out the big forms. That usually means that you draw hard edged forms with no attention to detail, but now not in the thumbnail view, but fully zoomed in so you have a nice big canvas. Don't zoom in too much though, since you don't want to lose sight of the overall composition and it is very hard to not go into the details when zooming in. This step can take from a few minutes to over an hour or two, depending on how much is going on in your drawing. For this one, I didn't want to drag it along since I'm on a tight schedule, so I only refined the big forms for about 5 to 10 minutes and called it a day. That is also something you might need to learn as well, since many people don't know when to start their drawing or when to go into another phase. Most artists, especially in the beginning, tend to overdo everything. They see a small mistake or a part that isn't detailed like the rest and begin to render that instead of just taking it easy and letting mistakes happen. To cite the wisest of the creatures in all of the lands, there are no mistakes. And that's very true for art. Now let's get back to drawing before I finish it with others. The main things are blocked in and you can already see some of the shapes take form. I would say about anyone that isn't halfway blind could tell what's going on here. Not in detail, but just the rough idea. That's when you know your blocking phase was successful and you can go into the next one. Now, the next step is values and medium shapes. Now is the time to shine. This is a part that can take a whole day and even more. It is debatably the most important phase of your drawing and also the most soul-crushing one, because this is the phase of drawing where most beginners just stop because it doesn't look good. Blocking in the medium shapes and changing the values to make sense. That is our goal now. And with this step, you go into a little more detail. Not actual detail, but you go over the most important places in your drawing. Meaning, most of the time you will be drawing around the focal point and the area you want to lead your viewers eyes to after. Obviously, since we're not doing detailed rendering, we also draw things outside of the zones, but most of the times your drawing will be spent in there. Now, how do we block in medium shapes, you ask? It's easy, we do it just like we did with the big ones. The only difference is that now we take good care of our values and take more control over the pen. In this phase, there's bound to be quite some happy accidents that you can use or discard at your own choosing, of course. Not as many as when we did our napkin sketches or the big block in, but a few will happen here and there. We will slowly turn the piece from a messy scribbly sketch into something nicer and smoother. It's crucial that you take your time and when your focus is running low, you should take some time off. It's also okay to just draw something else. The premise is that you don't stare at the same picture for hours without any pauses. Flipping the canvas is also a very good way to relieve your eyes' stress and find errors along the way. Nevertheless, little breaks in between do a lot for your health and for your drawing, so take them when you need them. Now, the third and last step can be two separate things, actually. Some people like to jump into color by now and others want to finish the piece and add color after. It doesn't really matter for the outcome of your piece, but if you're not confident with color or are on a schedule, staying in grayscale is the best option. 
since it just takes less time to get going with your piece. Step 3 is when you render things. Now something like materials and texture will be important, since a drawing where there are many different materials is always more dynamic and eye-catching as one where everything is made from some sort of non-reflective clay. Rendering materials is something that takes a lot of time. For illustration professionals, it can take weeks or even months. Therefore, you don't need to overdo it. We only have so many days left and I'm sure you have other things to do as well. In the rendering part, we usually want to have a variety of materials around our vocal point, since the variety will increase the gravity of your vocal point. And a good way to handle it is when you have different materials on your point of interest and the same different materials where you want to take the eyes of the viewer next. But that's only one of many ways to go about it and doesn't always work depending on what you draw. Also, if you're a beginner at art watching this, don't compare your sketches, refinement or anything with others. They might have more experience than you think, or they just learned different things than you. Only compare yourself to your former self. That's how you see and make improvement. No, I think that is enough. Don't stress yourself if you don't have time to complete the drawing until the 24th. It's hard to make time for drawing, and drawing itself takes a lot of that. I've gotten to see that myself, since I only had around 2 hours time for all of this you saw just now. I still hope you got something out of it, and I'll be rescheduling the end of the art competition to the end of the 26th, so you just got some more time to draw and don't need to ditch your family gathering for it. As previously said, I will be gone from YouTube for quite a while, but not from the Discord. If you have any questions, just ask, and I will be revealing the winner also on the Discord somewhere between the 26th and New Year year hopefully now i wish all of you a merry christmas and a happy new year and we'll hear each other in 2023 happy holidays and happy drawing